James Gunn, Marvel, you guys finally did it. We haven't gotten a good movie since. And I'm telling you, this movie by far is up there right next to Endgame. Hell, could be ranked above Endgame because that's how great this movie is. We haven't gotten a movie that had no agenda, no woke or political stance at all. And this is exactly what we needed. The fans wanted a movie like this for a long time. So I'm glad that they went this route instead of going the other way. So shout out to them for doing that. Now, if you're a huge Rocket fan, you definitely enjoy this movie because this is all about Rocket, okay? So if you're a Rocket fan, you would definitely love this. This take you back into the origin story, the background story of how Rocket was experimented on as a baby raccoon and turned himself into a highly intelligent being that we all know and love. This movie was crazy, okay? Because it really takes you with flashbacks between him and the high evolutionary laboratory as he meet up with the other experiments, a rabbit, a warrior, and a otter who named themselves Teves, Floor, and Lily. And those became his close friends throughout the entire operation. We get to see the whole dynamic between Rocket with his friends before he met with the Guardians of the Galaxy. You get that cool banter between Mantis, Drax, and Nebula. So you get to see a lot of funny antics between the two characters and they, the bickering and the banter. It was pretty cool. The movie itself has a lot of emotional roller coasters because throughout the film it goes like up and down. So you deal with a lot of different types of emotional scenes in many events of the film. It's a lot of emotional scenes that happen, but they always have that comedic relief to kind of tone it down a little bit to keep it in the reins. Mad, sad, or happy. It, it captured every emotion. So I think that was a pretty good thing about that as well too. Peter Quill, he tends to spend his entire time focusing mostly on Gamora, trying to rekindle his relationship with her even though that's not his Gamora in this universe she was in another alternate universe this whole movie is them battling the high evolutionary traveling around to find a way to save because he was in a coma throughout the entire movie so the whole the whole operation was to save him you know and that's where we are from there but if marvel continues to keep up with this and make actual good movies like the guardians of the galaxy volume 3 and continue going on the non-political non-woke non-pushing agenda route we can actually see a good movie from marvel here and there so this can actually be something good hopefully they keep this up and keep this going because man i'm telling you this is a breath of fresh air we haven't seen something like this in ages so let me know if you guys have seen guardians of the galaxy volume 3 let me know what you guys think about it do you think this movie Movie is great. Do you rank it above Endgame? Let me know in the comments below. It's your boy Tizane. Till next time, peace.